How's it going everybody? So this video is in direct response to my previous video entitled Change That Oil. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave it linked in the description below. So today we'll be changing out the oil in this 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee you see here. It's going to be the same procedure for all Jeep Grand Cherokees with the 5.2 liter V8 engine. There's a few things you're going to need for this project. The most obvious is new oil. In my case, I'm using high mileage 1040 by Penn's oil. A funnel, your choice of ratchet, a new oil filter, and don't forget that oil catch pan. I have the Jeep up on Rhino Ramp so I have more room to record for you guys, but you can also use a jack and jack stand. But the first thing you want to do is pop the hood, come over here to the battery, and disconnect the negative cable. Now I'm going to show you why that's necessary for this particular vehicle in a minute. So let's slide up under here, see what we got going on. Drain plug is right here. In my case, I'm using a 5.8 socket to remove it. Just gotta crank that bad boy counterclockwise. I don't know about you guys, but it's something soothing about watching oil just drain out. But anyway, now's a good time to clean the drain plug with some brake parts clean. And it's also recommended you change this washer out as well. All right, so while that finishes dripping out, let's go up here and wrestle with this oil filter. And you'll notice that its location is right above the starter, which means as you unscrew the oil filter, the oil is gonna leak on the starter, which is why I like to disconnect the battery. Now let's see if this oil filter gonna give me a hard time, man. Up, uh, up, uh, nope, no it didn't. I use brute strength. That's because I'm amazing. Just gonna turn it slowly so I don't take a complete oil shower. If you're scared to get dirty, this ain't the job for you. Pulls out right in between the control arm and exhaust pipe. Pro tip, make sure the oil filter gasket is not stuck to the housing. If it is, and you go to put the new oil filter on, it'll cause a leak. So make sure the old oil filter still has the gasket on it when you take it out. Old oil filter new oil filter i decided to go with the pure later balls because i heard it was a good oil filter and it only sent me back 13 dollars you want to pour a little of the new oil in the filter so the engine doesn't start up dry and also spread some around the rubber gasket to create a better sealing surface the installation is reverse of removal then make sure you clean the housing area wipe that starter off good and make sure you clean that exhaust pipe Put your drain plug back in and don't over tighten it. Then you want to add fresh oil. In this case, this 5.2 liter takes five quarts. And yes, I was wearing safety glasses. Reconnect your battery. Put your oil cap back on. And with that, you're finished. That's how easy it is to change your own oil. If you like this video, then consider checking out my YouTube channel, Barricade Garage. I have plenty of other repair videos to help you out. If you need anything, hit me up with a comment, ask a question. I respond to everybody. And with that, I'll see you later.